Be bedtime. Fatty and Hammy breathed rapidly. Sweat rolled down their foreheads. Their eyes widely opened and were filled with terror. Porky was surprised and concerned. He asked his brothers about what happened. Still shaking, Hammy told Porky about the wolf and how the wolf had destroyed Fatty and Hammy's houses. Since their mother told them to move out and build their own house with beauty, cozy, steady, and safety to save them from the wolf, three little pigs, Fatty, Hammy, and Porky decided to build three different houses. It was because Fatty, Hammy, and Porky wanted to use different materials for their houses. Fatty, the most impatient one, wanted to finish his house as soon as possible so he decided to build a house of straw, and then he went to play with the other little pigs. Hammy, the middle pig, built a house of wooden sticks as it wouldn't take him much time either, and so when he had finished he could go out to play, too. Porky, the youngest pig, decided to build his house of bricks. Even if it was going to take him longer, it was going to be a very strong house and a safe place from the wolf. Day by day, three little pigs lived happily in their happy homes. They sang and danced, worried about nothing. And one day, appeared a thing that they should worry about, the wolf. That morning, the whole forest was buzzing about the appearance of the wolf. All the animals were looking for a place to hide from the sharp claws of that hungry evil beast. So were the three little pigs. Fatty, Hammy, and Porky hid in their houses, closed the door tightly, and checked all the windows. Then, they relaxed. Fatty enjoyed his nap. Hammy sang and danced around his wooden house. Porky prepared ingredients for a pot of delicious soup. They were all confident that the wolf could not blow up their firm houses. The wolf arrived. He saw Fatty's house of straw first. Aha, such an easy target. The wolf banged on the door and threatened Fatty. Fatty woke up in horror. He held the door tight and told the wolf to go away with a trembling voice. And of course, the wolf didn't leave that easily. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew. And with only one blow, the straw house collapsed. Fatty couldn't believe his eyes. His house just collapsed, with only one blow. Now, he had no home but a wolf to face. Panic, Fatty ran with all his strength and speed toward Hammy's wooden house. The wolf followed him closely and nearly caught him. Luckily, Fatty reached Hammy's house right before the wolf. Seeing the wolf chasing after Fatty, Hammy reassured Fatty that the wolf could never blow up this wooden house. But Hammy was wrong. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew. After two blows, there was nothing of the house left, except for two shaky pigs. Fatty and Hammy had no choice but to run fast toward Porky's brick house. Knowing the situation, Porky checked the door and all windows one more time. He told his brothers not to worry since his house was made of brick. However, his brothers still feared that after the blows, the wolf could destroy the house and grab them all. The wolf arrived. After chasing and blowing, the wolf's hunger was greater. He breathed heavily, gritted his teeth, growled, and warned three little pigs to open the door. Unafraid, Porky challenged the wolf to blow up his firm brick house. This made the big wolf totally furious. The wolf puffed and puffed and blew. The wolf puffed and puffed and blew. The wolf puffed and puffed and blew. The brick house didn't move. It remained unchanged, firm and solid. Again, the wolf puffed and puffed and blew. But nothing happened. The wolf continuously banged on the door and windows and tried to blow a few more times but the brick house was still as strong as it was. The wolf calmed down and observed this house. And there it was, the chimney. He climbed and jumped down the chimney. Unfortunately, he fell right into a kettle of boiling water that Porky had already put under there. 
The wolf sprang straight up the chimney again and raced away into the woods. The three little pigs never saw him again. Fatty and Hammy hugged Porky and thanked him profusely. They learned their lesson and promised to patiently and carefully build a solid brick house so that the wolf could not blow their houses down again.